So this is uh Candace Owens. She did the interview with uh Joe Button on his Patreon talking about doing more work. Uh I'm assuming because he's put the humans, this is a a, a show, it's called Humans. Mm -hmm. Um, he's put this on YouTube plenty of times. If I'm not mistaken, this might be his first time putting it on Patreon. I might not be right though, because I, I don't follow Patreon. His stuff go to Patreon first, and then eventually he'll drop it on YouTube. Okay. So, like, it's on Patreon for right now, and probably a month or two months from now, it'll be on YouTube. Or he might wait wait two weeks. It all depends on how he's feeling about it. Okay, but, it's my uh, first time seeing the the Patreon launch like this for humans episode. Okay, uh, so. Yeah, we're going to play this. This is this our talking about Lizzo. So Candace Owens is a conservative uh, uh, talking head. She has her own podcast. She's done stuff with CNN, uh, Fox News. She's known for being very conservative, very mm -hmm. pro-life. She's definitely not down with the LGBT community. She's very vocal about it. In this interview, she speaks very vocally about it. Um, she speaks very, very fondly of Donald Trump in certain manners. Uh, you know, so in, in, in this clip, she's speaking to how she does not agree. Uh, and she's using Lizzo as an example. She doesn't agree with women showing their bodies in uh, inappropriate body parts in public spaces that are supposed to be for all ages. So there, she's speaking on an event. Uh, uh, Lizzo went to a Lakers game, and at the Lakers game, she had a, pa a pair of pants on, and her rear end is out. Her butt is out. And then she gets onto the side of the court and starts twerking, and this is what she had to say. I don't like the games that people play where they do something that's so obviously outrageous, like Lizzo in a thong shaking her ass cheeks. You know what that was. This is A, disgusting, B, perverted. People take their kids to the games. It's like, is there no safe space that's sacred? You got little boys, like fans of LeBron James that want to sit there, and now they got Lizzo with her ass cheeks, like shaking, and then she's like, if you don't like it, it's your problem. It's like, no, you are being problematic, and now you're playing the game where you do something outrageous, and then when we outrage, you pretend that we're the crazy ones. Stop gaslighting me, okay? You're very large, and you got your ass cheeks out on the side of the court at a basketball game. I reserve the right to now comment on that, and I do. And then they pull it out, and like, kid is just coming after Lizzo. No, Lizzo came after me as with some, her ass cheeks. As someone that is attracted to thicker women, this thicker, is problematic for me. As someone thick who women. my metabolism is changing, I battle with the scale. This is troublesome, what you're saying. No, you are trying to be nice, so you're putting yourself in the same category as Lizzo courtside, and you know that's not that. I thought she said something else about it too, about uh, um, the number one dying rate is obesity. It was another clip that I saw. But, yeah, she um, made a statement about that. I, I didn't, I haven't seen that clip, but I've I've watched it when I watched the video. But let's, let's, uh, let's get into it. It so, is what it is. I think she's right. Okay, I, go ahead. I think Candace Owen is right. I think lizzo you do that because you know you're going to get a reaction you do that because that's not the norm you do that to get a reaction and then i don't know if she cried out but the people cry out when the reaction is given you you wouldn't have done, like even if you're not big it just is what it is when people get on the football field and they with a streak across the field they're doing it to get a reaction they're doing it for for a response but now when you get a response it's an issue no bro like she, she was right she ain't say nothing <laughs> wrong bro you go here big or not you got your ass out. You're shaking your ass. There's kids here. You're doing this to get a response. And then when you get a response, it's like, it's an issue. No, bro, you're doing That's whack. That's corny. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't understand. Maybe because I haven't done too much research on this Candace Owens chick. But I don't understand the issue people have with it. Because from what I'm hearing in that, in that clip, it was right. And then, Joe, my guy, but you're pandering. Yeah, it is what it is. And I get it for, for sake of content. I do it sometimes because it's content. I'm not going to just go with you. I'm going to give you an opposite so you can defend it. I know that. But in the clip. You're pandering because, bro, you know, like, I get it. You have some trouble with your metabolism. You're getting bigger. What are we talking about? You're not Lizzo, right? And you're not going to the best, the Lakers game and a thong shaking your ass. I would hope not. You're not Thank doing God. that. And it, it's wrong. I mean, it just, I don't understand. I, I don't understand the issue. It's wrong. It is what it is. All right. Well, you, you good? Yeah. All right. So, Candace Owens is a skillful is, is, is a skillful in interviewee and interviewer. And let me tell you why. She took two issues and jammed them together. 
they shouldn't have been together at all. She put inappropriate uh, 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 visuals in a public space and she took obesity and she jammed them together and she rammed it through. Mm. So she got you to agree with, even though you might be agreeing to a part of the obesity discussion, but you may not agree holistically with the whole obesity. And I'll, I'll, I'll clarify. So her point is, yo, we should not accept fat people. That's her entire belief system, meaning that people like me, she has a problem with not mm. just. Yo, I, I just disagree with you being big. She's saying, bro, we need to do something with these people. And I'm like, first of all, I don't like to be referenced as these people when being referred to as something needs to be done about me. Cause like now you're gonna what you're gonna herd me up like cattle and you're gonna kill us if we don't conform to some uh national weight limit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Once again, that's a complicated discussion to have. But what she's doing is she's taking that. And then she's pairing it with something that we all agree with. Yo, no, no woman, no matter how big or small, should be at a a a, a public a, a a all. Excuse me. No woman or man should be at an all ages event exposing their private areas. We all agree on that. But you cannot then take the obesity issue and try to couple it with that and then try to get us to automatically all agree with it. So now she gets to say, see, everybody agrees with me. We don't like fat people. We need to get rid of fat people. Now, the reason why people get upset with this is because this is how propaganda was put together in the Nazi in the days of the rise of the Nazi uh, belief system and then World War II. This has also been a tactic used in attacking other minority groups. It has also been a tactic used. This is a popular tactic in politics. If you are an intelligent and skillful orator person that can make speeches and talks for a living, it's you take something that everybody likes, you couple it with something that might be uh, that sounds good on the surface. But on a deeper level, if you really do the research, you find out there's some fucked up shit about it. And then you get people to just agree with it so that you get mass acceptance of 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 shitty concepts. You know what I'm saying? So uh, let's just say it like this. Donald Trump says, I want to make America great again. We can all generally agree with that, right? Jay Hill, you want America to be great, don't you? Mm -hmm. But do you agree that we should kick out all of the Mexicans? No. Do you feel like we should get away? We should do away with, hey, man, black people really don't need to have rights. I mean, yo, let's just make America great again. Like, yo, let's just put the black people black in slavery because they're probably going to end up rising up against us because they're angry at how they were mistreated. So, like, yo, we should just either send them all back to Africa or send them back in slavery. Now, the whole concept of make America great again falls apart. And yeah. that's go ahead. So from what I heard about her talking about Lizzo and, and her size and obesity, right? I think um, and let me pull this up because I was I was Googling it and it said uh I said, what is the leading cause of death for, for African American? And um let me see if we can see this. All right, obesity is a chronic health condition that raises the risk of uh, raises risk for heart disease, the leading cause of death in the United States, and is linked to many other health problems, including type 2 diabetes and cancer. Nearly three in four adults aged 20 or older in the United States have either over is, is either overweight or obese. So now, go ahead. With, with that being said, right, I do think it's a concern. If it's the leading cause of death in America, right, it's, it's, it's a concern. I too was overweight when I went to the doctor. And what happened is we don't have enough people holding us accountable. And this ain't this ain't me like defending her. I'm just talking about the obesity thing. We don't mm -hmm. have enough people holding us accountable mm -hmm. to do better. Because you know what they told me when I went to the doctor and I said, I I'm going to lose weight. weight. You know what my friends told me? They looked at me and said, what weight? Every, every single friend looked at me and said, what weight? I was 199, 200 pounds, right? I, I, I was 5'9", 200 pounds. And I'm like, I need to lose weight because I, like, I wasn't... um. And I never had this. I never told this story. I wasn't pre-diabetic, but I was on a verge to being pre-diabetic, right? Mm -hmm. and, my, and I looked at him like, damn, I'm overweight, right? And you know what else they say? They, they say, uh, what weight do I need to lose? And number two is say, they say that's wrong. That's when, when you're looking at this, they was like, uh, the, the, the overweight limit 
for the scale when you go to the doctors. A lot of my peers will be like, that's wrong. They, they're measuring it by the, the white person. That That's not our body type. Our body type is different from white people. That's how they're looking at it. They, that's what that's what people say. I don't know if you heard about it or not, but that's what, when you go to the doctor, you get on the scale and they say you owe weight or not, they be like, that's wrong. That's not that's not really for us black people. Wow. But, and that's these are things that I'm hearing, right? So right. imagine if I, if, I, if I take what my peers are saying and I don't and I don't run and I don't try to lose weight and I don't try to eat healthier, right? Yo, the like we said, understanding the value in something, understanding the value in being healthy, mm -hmm. because the uh, the other the other side of that is death. The other mm -hmm. side of that is not being able to see the dreams that I'm chasing. The other side of that is not being able to see my daughter grow up, right? So I'm mm -hmm. not. I'm again, I'm not taking up a Trump or, or Candace Owens, but I, I'm saying I understand the concern. And a lot of times we don't understand or we don't take in consideration or do anything about something unless we're in outrage, unless we learn, unless we're, we're given extreme measures and extreme, extreme examples. Sometimes we learn through extremities. Right. And maybe her approach again. I, I, I've never heard this lady talk outside of this for real. So I really don't know. So mm -hmm. I'm not trying to defend her. I'm just mm -hmm. giving a, 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 another opinion. Maybe her approach might be the approach that we need to do something about this cause, because this is the leading cause of death. So um, and she, and she went further into the discussion of her uh, disagreement with obese people. One of the things that I, I, I like that Joe pushed back on, he said, OK, cool. So we don't like obesity and we want to deal with it. So can we go to the food companies and have them start being more conscious of the food that they are putting out into the world? Oh, I don't want to get into that. You know what I mean? Let's talk about the responsibility of the person. And it's just like, but if, if the food is horrible, if, if the scale is in hell and, and what is allowed to be sold to the public and we know that it's highly unhealthy, then who's to say that both I feel like we should have a holistic discussion. I'm a I'm a very large dude. You know what I mean? Shout out to Rod Dope. That's my dude. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm a very large man. People would assume that I sit around and eat all day long. Mm -hmm. I don't. Most large people that I know, because we know we're large and we're self-conscious, a lot of larger people starve themselves. They don't eat. They may not eat a lot. Now, what I will say is a lot of large people may not eat appropriately. So they might eat a lot of bread or they might consume a lot of cheese. And because we need to be re-educated on what is appropriate for our bodies and our systems. But there's also the reality of there are different uh, systems. So my system is different from Jay Hill's system, meaning that we both could have the same burger and fries it's going to affect me differently than it's going to affect Jay. That's that's just a fact. So there's an education component. There is the system component, meaning that the, the, the food system out there doesn't is, is allowed to do whatever the hell it wants. As long as it's not poisoning you outright and killing you, it can do whatever it wants. You know what I mean? But that's, that's what's what happening. These things are killing us, right? Like these right. things are killing us. So one, I agree with you. Like we should be able to argue about the people. Like you said, the scale is in hell. Right. Mm -hmm. I was just talking to my friend and it's like the one of the hardest things about being healthy is our options. Mm -hmm. One, it costs much more to be healthier. It, the food is mm -hmm. way more expensive. <laughs> it's not like it's, it's not like it's, you can go down the street. I can go down the street right now and get McDonald's. I can go down the street right now and get Burger mm -hmm. King. I can't just mm -hmm. go down the street right now and get something healthy. So it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's harder to do. Right. It's harder mm -hmm. to find. So I do get that. And I'm 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 pro on not criticizing people without without having a. a some type of solution. I'm with that. Again, mm -hmm. that's why I, I haven't watched the interview. I'm just talking about the fact that obesity is the leading cause of death. And we have mm -hmm. to educate ourselves, right? And we mm -hmm. can't just have the excuse of they, 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 they. It's mm -hmm. our responsibility to mm -hmm. eat healthy. It's our responsibility to do what we got to do to survive. I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking no, I'm not taking nothing away from the government and the foul things that they did, the things that they put in our community. Shit, they put they put crack cocaine in our community and then locked us up for trying to make a living for ourselves. Mm -hmm. I, I get it. I'm not the, against that. I'm we're, saying we do have to take some responsibility for ourselves as well. 1,000%. I'm 1,000% with you on that. But the, the thing that I, I urge you to be careful with when you're dealing with people like Candace Owens, and she comes from a very large group of voices on the conservative side, they will take the medicine and they will put poison in it. 
Mm. So she's taking a positive topic like obesity and sh and she's going to come off like, yo, I just want us to be more healthy, man. I want this to be better. Like, I want this to be this. But then you'll start hearing her have the undertones like in the interview with, with, with Joe, she's making a point and then she starts saying, yeah, man, because. You know, people just mis misunderstood the Nazis in it. And you go, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it was just like, and yeah, the certain little points that the Nazis did might have been cool. But what, the, what they're doing is they're softening the ground up to start, you know, reinterpreting different things. Once again, you putting you putting a poison in the medicine. So you want to have a, an obesity discussion, but you don't want to talk about the, you don't want to talk about the major corporations that are making billions off of it. But, but you just won't talk about let's keep let's keep beating up on Lizzo. Yeah, beat up on her because she's fat and disgusting. She's going out in public and I hate her and da da da. And it's just like no, but not First, go ahead. let's not beat up Lizzo, let's not beat up anybody, right? But let's address exactly. those issues when those issues occur. So when she yes. says something about about uh uh KKK or the Nazis, we address that, right? But let me ask you this question, and go not ahead. even just you has, and it's a rhetorical question. Has Candace Owens said anything that made you feel bad about yourself being a bigger person? And if the answer is yes to, to, to my bigger people out there, then I think it's helping. Why? Because now you can do something. Because if you don't feel like what you're doing is wrong, you will never do anything. You will never do anything about your situation. Now, if someone is bringing something that makes you feel uncomfortable, it's like, no, I got to make a change, then it's for the better. Sometimes I think, again, this might be bad because I, I, I never really heard her talk like that. And I don't want to be defending somebody that's just foul. You feel me? That's mm -hmm. not what I'm trying to do. I'm just giving a perspective on it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we ignore the message because it's coming from the wrong, because of, because of it's the coming from the wrong messenger. From, right? right. And I'm saying, let's forget the messenger and let's understand the message. The message the is mm -hmm. obesity is killing our people. Bro, I, I, I can't make this up, bro. I, I, I can have this conversation because, you know, I don't even care about so much stuff. I put this on everything, bro. And it's not really obesity. It's about diabetes, but diabetes come from obesity. I swear, I'm looking at A-Town. Remember A-Town? Yes, um, sir. And he has a kidney, a ki he had kidney failure. And I'm mm -hmm. looking into him like, man, this is so sad. What's going on with A-Town? And then I, I start to see uh, um, uh, Freeway. He had the same thing, kidney failure. And he said he was just doing whatever. He was, he was, he wasn't getting no rest. He was uh, on, on the shows. He was living his best life, bro. And it's mm -hmm. happened out of nowhere. And I found out that Kidney failure came from diabetes, and uh, one of the re one of the causes of diabetes is something that we don't even have a control of, bro. It's being black. Being black is, I guess, diabetes is high amongst black people, African American people. This is just me okay. doing research, right? That's right. something that's out of my control. So if I'm already born with a, I'm already born with a, with a short end of the stick. I gotta, I gotta take responsibility so I don't, so, so, so I can, I gotta take responsibility for my own life is what I'm trying to say. So if, if her message is saying, yo, we gotta do better, I think we can, we can just do a better job at hearing the message so we can protect ourselves. That's really it. Not defending I, her. No, no, I feel what you're saying. Um, I'm only going to push back in the way of, yes, listening to the message is very important, but understanding the agenda of the messenger is is also very important. And there is a very there's a very serious reason why a lot of our best and brightest voices in the media space avoid having her on their platforms because a lot of the audience cannot distinguish the nuances of what she is saying. So like I, as a, as a person that does interviews and, and as a, and as a talking head, as a profession, I can listen to her and I can, I can hear the sword fighting in the, you know, she's what she's trying to do. I can see what she's trying to lay out. I can see how she's trying to make certain things happen. And I can distinguish between good rhetoric from bad rhetoric. But the normal person that is that is emotional. Yo, sh shout out to my man uh, Jones, man. Yo, shout out to my guy, man. I, that was that's that's my guy right there. Um, but the reason why I have a problem with people like her is regular individuals who are still attached to their emotions, who can't understand that there is a lot going that there's layers to these discussions, will get emotionally attached to these po po positive. These That's big it. sweeping yeah, positive messages, but then get caught up in the nuance of the 
being brought into the community and she's sounding so welcoming and all these stuff. And then you start believing the nuances that she's bringing out all of the little things about, you know, conservatism and yo, yo, we need to get away from this and get away from that. And then you, you, I am, our community is impressionable mm. because we aren't as educated and we don't want to do research. We just want to get emotionally caught up. And we start loving on somebody and then we just follow them all the way down the road. You know what I'm saying? Without, we need to love, but still challenge. Mm. We need to listen, but still research. We should not allow ourselves and no matter who it is, whether it's me, Jay Hill, Candace Owens, anybody have, let's have conversations, but do your own research. Don't just follow blindly into the fray, but there are millions of people that do that. Mm. And, and because our black people, because we want to get out of the situation that we are in so bad that we are willing to follow people through the desert, starving and, and thirsty, just because somebody can promise us a brighter day. She does work and makes millions of dollars with a lot of conservative organizations that are actively doing things to screw our community. But she uh, don't give a f about that because she's making money and she's willing to put these things out here so she can get paid. But go ahead. How do we say it? Ashaya? I, Ashaya? I hope, I hope I'm not slaughtering your name. Um, I think Shia. I, I hope I'm not slaughtering. Ashaya. Ashaya. It says, who cares about what you think about what she said? The question is, is she right? Is she right about what? What she's saying about obesity? Yes, Miss Ashaya. That means you haven't been paying attention to everything we're saying. We're talking. You can't talk about the general. Is obesity bad? Yes. Okay. So, do you feel like we should what line up all of the fat people and shoot them in the face? Should we go after the once again? Y'all keep saying, "What well, is she saying?" Right? Yes, a general statement. Yes, but what are we talking? When we start, let's get into the nuanced discussion about where the solutions lie, and then that's where her wheels fall off. Mm. If we're just talking about general conversation, it's beautiful. Yes, yo, we we want everybody to live decent, wonderful lives, and da 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 da. But when you start going two and three layers down into the depths of the real discussion. So miss Ashaya, that means you feel like we should, we should vote for Trump because Joe Biden didn't do as much for black people as Trump did because Trump pardoned little Wayne and Trump pardoned this. And he might've took some very surface level actions towards helping our community surface level actions and joe biden didn't but let's be real joe biden has done way more for all communities and not just black communities to rebalance our, our country but if you're not paying attention to day-to-day -day politics you don't know that mm -hmm. if you're just listening to talking heads talk talk random stuff it's going to be a problem Exactly. You didn't say nothing about Trump. But once again, the point I'm making is and I didn't say she didn't make good points. The point I'm making is, is that the deeper elements that are a part of her belief system. Uh, just agreeing with some surface level stuff doesn't solve a problem. I, but I, me personally, I don't think that comes. Even if they made the conversation surface level, I don't think Correct. it's surface level because this is a real thing that people are dying from. Like, right. I, I went to the doctor six months ago. Uh, mm -hmm. maybe a little more more than six months ago mm -hmm. i was overweight and i was Correct. pushing like yep. high blood pressure and pushing uh yep. what, what is it pre -di pre diabetes right I had Correct. To do something about it right now it's a conversation of people born like this now that's different if you have uh, if you have a, if you have the opportunity it's different from somebody being able to change their life and change their mm -hmm. their um their habits than somebody mm -hmm. just not having a choice right now and that's something mm -hmm. that i can i can understand people are born bigger Right. People are born overweight. People are born in these, uh, like I said, given these born in having a short end of the stick. That's mm -hmm. different. Now, we can't just have these these surface level conversations of saying all big people because all big people ain't the same. All people in general ain't the same. Right. Me mm -hmm. gaining weight and allowing myself to, to, to allowing it to get out of control is different from somebody that's born out of overweight, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. we should have some type of. um. I know we should be aware of our our words when we having these conversations for sure, one hundred percent, because two mm -hmm. different things.
Mm -hmm. But if you have the opportunity and if you wasn't born overweight, if you have the opportunity to lose weight, to, to, to have a mm -hmm. better diet, to have a be better health mm -hmm. style, I think mm -hmm. we can learn from what she's saying. That's all I'm no, saying. No matter how, no matter how, how it's coming off. Right. right. We can take so, that message and make it go. Let's, let's clarify something, because Mr. Shia just made a statement in the comments that I think she's miss she's misconstruing. I, yo, I, I love Candace Owens. To a certain extent, there are as a as a professional pundit, she is one of the best of this new generation. When you're talking about skillful orators, she's definitely that. There are things that I believe in that she speaks on that I love. Do I? The point I'm making is is that I am as skeptical of her as I am of Joe Buttons, whom I love. I have. Paid for tickets for Jay Hill to see Joe Buttons. But when I would the first person to say Joe says fucked up shit and has done fucked up shit. He's made huge mistakes. Candace Owens has made huge mistakes and it's fucked up on many different levels. They are good and bad, both at the same time. The point I'm making is we have to be willing to do our own research. And as Jay Hill just said, he's dealt with uh being overweight i have been dealing with uh obesity my entire life it has been a constant struggle of mine i do not have diabetes my mom has type 2 diabetes it is something that i am dealing i have to deal with internally and externally yeah. so um and you said you are making no points obviously if you just decide that you don't want to hear what i'm saying i guess i'm not so uh at the end of the day I'm telling everybody to do your own research, to start looking below the surface level of the conversations. My um, the other question, I'm, the other thing I'm always going to say is, what solutions are we bringing to the table? That's mm -hmm. the other part of it. Yes, let, we can talk about obesity till we blew in the face. And is this person making a point? That person, I'm not here to. I'm not your enemy. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not against you. I'm trying to say, hey, bro, let's all get into the discussion, not just to point the finger and identify a problem. Yo, let's have production productive conversations on how we can attack the issue in a holistic manner so that we all can benefit long term, not just in the short term, but in the long term. You know what I mean? I think I, I, I think um that's a great point. And sometimes I think she it's funny because we could argue that she's doing the same thing Lizzo doing when when Lizzo went to the the Lakers game in mm -hmm. this provocative wear shaking her ass to get a response. I feel like um again I don't know her, but it seems like she might live up to this Candace Owens persona because she created mm -hmm. it one, and now it's like mm -hmm. this is what's getting me the attention. This mm -hmm. is what this is what um. People are, I'm having people have a conversation now. So let Correct. me live up to that, right? But sometimes yeah. it's a time and place. And sometimes you do more harm than good when you try to live up to that persona. That's it. That's, That's very true. That's very true. And, and, um, yo, and let me tell you this. And one thing, and one of the reasons why I'm open to listening to people on both sides of the aisle, and we should all be willing to do that. Like, yo, I'm, that's the one thing I love about Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's going to have a conservative on. He's going to have a liberal on. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to listen to Trump the same way I'm willing to listen to Biden. I'm willing to listen to this person. Where's I, Yo, I watch videos on the KKK, bro, when they spit in their rhetoric. I need to understand. I want to understand how they got to the place that they got to. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, yo, like we don't. If we all sit in our little corners and we go, that person bad, me good. We can never get to a point of growth. You need to, you can't connect with somebody if you don't understand that person. Mm -hmm. I can't get you to see me as a human. If you're not even, if, if, you're, if I'm not willing to talk to you, how can you see me as a human being? You know what I mean? Like, and those, those are super important elements. So like, and, and we all need to, and this goes back to what we said at the beginning of the show is meditation, taking time to, to take the step back and remove our emotions and look at things from a just how does this affect my world is this element good is this element bad you know yo the emotions can exist but it cannot control my decision making and then it cannot control how i have a discussion 100%. and then the more you do that the more you get to the place where you don't have any 